Waste hauler Anderson Cherry said the cave, which was uncovered during excavation of land at Mangrove Pond St. Thomas, would be preserved as a feature of the future site of his project recycling facility. The discovery of the cave came to light following the release of a video showing some of his employees on site expressing concern that it would be destroyed. Cherry said the video was made months ago and the cave was still intact. He said the project recycling facility would employ hundreds when it was finished. It's a beautiful feature and I was happy that it was made that have been discovered here on our facility. Is it on it? But, but imagine, we have a recycling facility where we are trying to meet the sustainable goals here in Barbados that was set and caught in And here, look at it. A recycling facility that found a small cave, 14 feet wide and 45 feet long. A small little feature, right? We call it a feature. It's not a cave, it's a feature. Normally, in construction, we would have excavated that. No, I decided to keep it because I think it will be beautiful and it will be a talking point when this facility is finished. And when this facility is finished, we will employ hundreds of people here at the Project Recycle Centre. Look, look over here. We are next to the sanitary landfill. Next to the sanitary landfill. What more better place do you want for a recycling site? Okay. This, this feature here, we have made a decision because when we did an aerial view, we recognize it has a shape of Barbados. So what we're doing is that carving out the shape of Barbados here and then this would be a, a highlight this would be a, a, this would be beautiful officials from the town and country development planning office said they were conducting investigations into the discovery of the cave and the work being undertaken both minister of small business Kerry Simmons and parliamentary representative for St. Thomas Cynthia Ford are said to have expressed concerns about the excavation